coming up in about 10 minutes. All right, Danielle, thank you. Buying a new home is, of course, an exciting step for a lot of people, but current interest rates and saving for a down payment can slow down a lot of potential buyers. This is where state-run programs can help. News 19's Emily Mosner joins us live in Huntsville. And Emily, what are some resources available to home buyers? Well, for the first time in almost 15 years, the Alabama Housing Finance Authority has received $35 million in to be able to help people with down payments and lower interest rates. Now, that's going to make the dream of home ownership, maybe in a neighborhood like this one, more of a reality for more people in our area. Now, it's through a program called First Step Mortgage. So it was a huge deal for us. The last time that the program was available in our state for with Alabama Housing was in 2010. Applications are now open for potential home buyers looking for lower interest rates of five and a half or six percent. To apply, home buyers need to earn less than the median income for their area. In the Huntsville area, that means individuals or couples who make less than $108,000 can apply. Carrie Hammaker with the Alabama Housing Finance Authority says the program also offers down payment assistance. And it's going to make it a lot more affordable, especially with interest rates on the rise, for them to become homeowners. Being a homeowner is a newer title for Kamari Hughes. I just purchased my first house last uh, August. Hughes was not able to utilize the First Step program. However, he did work with his lender on a different kind of down payment assistance program. He encourages potential buyers to see what's out there. I would definitely recommend, you know, you looking around and you doing your research, the adequate research. Hammaker says not enough people know what programs are available. The hurt is knowing that it's out there and knowing to ask your lender about it. So we've been uh, working really hard and diligently to ensure that we educate realtors, uh, home builders, and lenders in our state to, so that they know that this program is out there. Now, in addition to meeting those income requirements, you also must be an Alabama resident and plan to live in the home after you purchase it. Now, I'll post the full details for this program on our website, whnt.com. Live in Huntsville tonight, Emily Moser, News 19. Thanks so much, David.